Today we will discuss the different types of graphs with network text using Python. In last two video we discussed the concept of the two different types. One is the directed graph, second one is the multi graph using with network text. Today we will discuss the weighted graph. So what is a weighted graph? Weighted graph, let's say that G is a weighted graph defined as vertices are node G having the edge. E has with the function w that assigns w that is a weight that is assigned to each edge. So when we see that we are having the weight that can be any real number, weight can be in any format. Right. So when we say that we are having the weighted graph, so we say that we are having the uh, weighted graph that can be a directed weighted graph or Undirected weighted graph. Similarly, we are having the multi graph, uh, multi directed weighted graph as well as multi undirected weighted graph. So, to how to implement the weighted graph in Python? For the implementation of the weighted graph in the Python, let's start the working over here. Right. For that one, we have to import network x as init. Then we see that uh, import pandas as cd. We are having a set of the vertices are here g, a, b, c, d, e, and f. Let's take the weighted graph example. Let here we see that we are having the different type of the graphs are available. So here we see that uh, different type of the nodes are available. Different nodes are here a, b, c, d, e, and f. Different set of the nodes are available. So when we are having the set of nodes are available, these nodes are connected with each other. Edge are available in between A and B, D and C, C and D, and as for that. So the weight is assigned over here with displayed over here with the each and every node. So the weight of the A, B, H that is 6, weight for the B, C that is a 7, and then C, D, we are having 8, B, E, 4, E, F, 9, and other. So we to display the weight on the weighted curve that the graph is having the weight for the edge, so that is known as the weighted graph. How to implement the weighted graph? We see that we are having the different type of the vertices are there. Now we have to mention it over here the set of the edge having the weight. So for that one we see that the E equal to we are having the different type of the uh, uh, edges are available. So we see that we are having edge A and B having the weight. Let me say that here we have a weight of a B weight is six. Then next one we are having the edge that is in between the B and C. Weight is seven. The next one we have a that is a C and D. And weight of this one is eight. And next one we have a G and E. We have a weight of this one. Let me check. Weight of this one is four. And then we have E and F. And weight of this one we have a nine. And last one, as we assume that we have F and A. This one is the attribute. Weight is the attribute of the edge. So that, let me say, this one weight is six. Let's execute this one. So we are having the edge over here. So if we want, now we have the bidirectional graph. So uh, we have to add this edge over here. We say that g is equal to nx dot directed graph digraph. And shoot it. Now we have to add these nodes as well as vertices. So we have to use it over here g dot add. Node from so we are having the nodes are here in the V so all the nodes are added in the graph G so G dot add edge from 
we already discussed all of these concepts in last video so that is a e so we add the edge over here now here yes, see here it's the edge so we i write the spelling mistake g dot add edge from so e add of a y it is stated see it's a integer of it is not so when we see that we are having this one graph is here so we are using it over here the weight so for that one we have to add the weighted edge not normal edge so what we have to do add weighted edge from e executing now if you want to know the what are the different type of nodes are there g dot node we are having nodes that here node b is a, a b c d e and f if you want to display it over here g dot h so we it will display as that here a b c a b b c c a b b c e f d e c d f a now next one we have this one when we just display it over here the weight of this one now weight is the property of uh, weight is the property of the edge now we can assign the position of the node like if we check it over here what is the position of the a e? e is at the position of the like we having at the point 2 3 that is the when the graph will at x is we are having 2 and the y axis we are having the 3 2 3 if we check it over here for the b that is also 2 6 then we are having the position of uh, the next one is uh, like we say c that is uh, 4 9 then we say that d we say are uh, 6 9 then this one is a uh, 6 6 and then we say that here we are having the uh, next one is 6 uh, so 3 6 and next one we have uh, this one we like we assume that one is the uh, Four. Or uh, uh, if one this one is we are having the one five point six. What we have. So this one is the x axis and this one is the y axis. So first one we said that's a three two, then three. Then first we said that three two, then six two. Then we have the next one we said that's a uh, eight three and so on. So how to display all of these over here? So for that one, we have to use it over here. A display we use the position. That is the properties or attribute of the node. So we have to use it over here the position. Like we said, we are having the different type of the nodes are there. We have to assign the position of each and every node. So node first one we are having the A, and the position of the A we say that. We have A is at 1 1 right on x axis it's 1 x y axis are also 1 now we see that B that is uh, at x axis we say that is next one node we are having the this one A use the column 1 1 Next one we say that we are having the node B and the position of the node B we say that is a 3 1 then we have the node C and its position we say that uh, like Four. Uh, let me assume that it's over here. Four, four. Now x is at uh, four, and y is we are using it over here. Four, no, four is. There. Too much uh, for you know, whatever it is. Cool. 
and then we should add uh, next one the, like another node that is the D the position of this one node we say that that is we say that oh, 5 and uh, in front above the B it should be and X axis we say that we have a uh, three but y axis we say that it should be a uh, three okay so now next one we have another node that uh, the another node that we said for e and the position of for this one node that we said that uh, e position should be here like here uh, we click one and three and now last one node we have the f So position of F should be, we say that on X axis we have a 0 and Y axis we have a 2. Let's check if everything is wrong. Now here something is missing like, oh, we have used a comma over here. So here we are having the position over here. So currently we are having the different type of the nodes. We make sure that we have set up the nodes A. B, C, D. We mention it over at the edge and their weight. So next one we mention it over at the graph. All of no add all the nodes in the graph. Then add all the edge in the graph. Then we mention the position of all of the graph. So when we say we are having the position is there. So position is the dictionary where the key or the node and the value assigned to each key is the array of the length. So when we have to assign the different type of the values over here, as you see that in x axis and y axis, that is as I mentioned the array where we have to mention all of display all of these value. Now next one we have to uh, get if we want to display the graph info. So we have to use print it over here. Print nx dot info of uh, graph G and to this one so it say that we are having the this one is a directed graph number of nodes are 6 number of edges are also 6 uh, degree of every degree that is a 1 in in degree as well as the uh, average out degree that is also a 1 now we have to use the uh, display the weight over here or we have to assign the weight over here so let me see that weight If we want to get the edge attribute, so we have to use weight is the edge attribute, so we have to use it over there in x network x dot get edge attribute if we want to know what are the different things that are available in the edge attribute, so we can simply use it over there the uh, question marks it will display the different type of the attribute of the edge attribute so it will display it over here the one is drop in the name of the attribute so we see that the edge attribute name is uh, just weight so we have to use it over here graph name is here g and edge attribute name we are using it yes. exclude this one now we are having the weighted graph. We are finding it over here the weight. So this one edge attribute that we mentioned it over here the weight. Now next one we have to use the network X. The network X that is a simple interface to plot a graph object through the in extra draw library 
like we say network x we have to use the network x so in network x we have to use it over here in x dot draw network x next dot draw network x if you want to check what are the these things are there so or what are the objects of this one so just like do this one so in x dot draw network x Uh, we have network x let me right check go on this good network x oh yes now it displayed over here the different type of the attribute of this one execute it so here it says that we are having the graph position and then we have to use it over here the errors can be created with labels is equal to true so we have to use it over here for different type of the index dot draw now graph we have a g then we have the we if you want to use mention the position of this one graph so we already know that position is equal to position is equal to position and then we have the uh, mention the label that big label is equal to q so these are attributes g graph position we already mentioned it over here we already defined the position over here so we have to mention the attribute of this one position and labels for that one we say that's the true this one is properties of the nodes. Now another thing we said that uh, this one is for the nodes. Now we are away. We have all to mention the as as well. Oh, we have to mention it over here. The index dot draw network x edge label. Now execute this one. The properties of this one. Now if we check over here network x. Draw network x edge label so it says that we are having the graph. We have to mention the position, we have to edge label. Edge label we already mentioned over here what is the edge label that is the weight. Then we say that uh, label position we can define it as any position by default that is the zipper five at the middle. So font size we can mention by default we are having the 10. We can mention it any. So here we can use another so in x dot. Draw network X edge label. So first one we have a graph G position for next one we are in position. So I will using the position UL. So we already have now next one we have to mention it over there the uh, edge label. For edge label, we are using it over at the weight. And uh, if we want to mention it over here, uh, other attribute like here, also in the draw, uh, in the draw, we can mention it over at the node size, node color, edge size. You know, so we can get using it over at the node size. Okay, first, I include this one and then we will. Recheck over here. Just execute this one. So it displays it over here the different type of the graph is having a different type of the node. So it says that's a, a, B, C, D, E, and F over here. So we are having all the nodes are at the proper positions.
so when we are having the different type of uh, graphs having the position and edge labels so as you can see it over here the different type of edge label over here so now we can mention uh, the other properties over here like uh, see that in that in x dot draw we see that we are having the Uh, even we can use it over here in x.draw uh, we can use it over here with labels we already used it over here we can use it over here no size let me say no size there we have a 1000 node color equal to we say data white we say that edge color uh, that we say that the green and then we are having the uh, error size let me say that error size we have a 35 this is good this one now we can see it over here the different type of the nodes a b c d e and f we can use it over here the font size and all the other attributes now it display it over here the base for the different cops like uh, the different a to b rate is here 6 b to c 7 c to d we are having the rate is 8 b to e we are having the rate is 4 then e to f 9 and f to a we are having the rate is 6 so here we are using the position whenever we execute it over there a will be here at the position 1 1 then 1 3 then uh, another position that 5 2 or other so we already mentioned the position for that one so on the specific position the value will be assigned over here so it's all about the weighted graph the position of the different nodes as well as the weight of each and every edge. Thanks for watching the video.